Good evening, everybody. I just wanted to show you guys this part on an Underwood and a couple other things. Um, this is how this part here should operate. You should have it clicking back to the right rather than coming at you from the left. You see how that springs back that way? So to do that, if yours has come loose and it's just laying there dead or, or worse, the spring is round the wrong way and it's coming back this way, um, you need to get that spring back in it. So there's a part in there up here with the screw. So let's go to this parts machine here. I'll show you, show you how this can go. Okay, so we have the the part in question right here, and it's kind of coming back to the left. So what you have to do is tighten, uh, add some tension to that uh, screw with the spring on it. So let's put this flashlight here and hope this helps get some view. You turn this one here, the whole the whole uh, washer with the spring. Uh, you get a hold on it and you turn it to the left. Okay, come on. There. So you add some tension to it, and then you get in there with, a, with like a small screwdriver at the same time as you're holding that tension. And you tighten, tighten it back down, and you get out of the way. Now. Now it'll spring back to the right. So that's that could be there. Too tight's no good either. So you have to have that that resistance going that way. Okay. I hope that part made sense because. Now we got to look at a few other things. So what I've been playing with here is my uh, 12. I had to put a, a new carriage on it, and so I took one from a 1910 and uh, finagled it over to to this. This this carriage was shot um, from from rust and things. So I put, you, here, i get you up so you can kind of see. That's from a 1910. So that worked well. But then I thought, well, what about these keys, you know? And uh, there's a difference in keys here. So one of, my, one of my things is these caps like this, okay? This one I cleaned with Miracle Clean and then Armor All. These are those covers that you can put on. And I'm, I'm thinking that might be a, a good solution, like that. And so those look on there. You know, they're, they're always going to be dirty when you start, but they clean up good. So that's one solution. Another is to change the keys, um, you know, take the nickel ring off and a plate and, and uh, try and get that out. And... Yeah, you can try that. These ones with the glass faces, though, like these, these don't have the three the three prongs underneath um, like this does. And, you know, that's okay if you don't have a glass face, if you got the tool. The way this tool works is you've got a groove in the back, you've got a groove in the left front and one in the right front, and then that ring all the way around. Now I've glued in a piece of rubber, but that doesn't stop you from breaking them. I mean, I've I tried, and I've been getting glass shards. Don't let people tell you they're plastic. This one was glass, and I broke this off of, uh, I think, a 1930 Underwood Portable. So I need the prongs uh, for that 1912, and, well, we can try one, I guess. So you want to line up... Uh, oh, that's right. These don't have prongs. Uh, that was going to get into my my next part. I'm not going to break one of these because I, I already know what's going to happen. Um, but let's try one that doesn't have a 
Uh, let's try one that doesn't have a uh, glass cover. So this is just, this doesn't have the prongs under it either, unfortunately, but I think without, yeah, you can pop those right off good so you don't break the face. That rubber, it just doesn't protect it enough. I, I'm, you know, it's an old S33 and, oh, come on out of there. Let's get that out of there quick. But I'm, I'm not going to be able to put this kind of cover on something like this. Because this here, that we just took it off, doesn't even have a glass face. It's just, uh, what is that in there? Let's take a look quick while we're here. This is a, uh, so you take a pin and you just kind of, yeah. So it's got a, it's got a good thick, thick, uh, lay in there, but that's a different kind of, different kind of cap than, uh, than this with the three prongs. You know, this has the standard three prong thing underneath. And with those glass faces just breaking, I think my choice might go back to this. What else I did find out though, this is an application roller for like, uh, get that off there for, uh, decals. Squeeze it like that there. Oh man, antique stuff. But, um, you know, this, this tool here is like, let's, like a, like the plastic keys on, on these typewriters. See that notch there? That also could be a chrome nickel ringed one, but it seems to work pretty good. We're not going to pull a plastic one here. That's for uh, installing a plastic uh, key, key. But I found that if I use it, the installation tool for plastic keys, on a chrome ring like this, like on this uh, typewriter, you can get it off pretty good. There. You can get it off pretty good, too. No dents, nothing. It just... It's kind of funny that the application tool for plastic can remove <laughs> nickel rings pretty good. Of course, I've had that one off, but I put it back on, and I was just kind of amazed by that. Um, what did I want to show you? Uh, in the 1960 um, Ames catalog, there were some things I wanted to show you. So that's that tool, only the older style for the uh, plastic, and then you got your old style um, detaching pliers. That's the new style there. Um, but I don't have that. I have the old. This has that app transfer roller. Oh, um, so with with these though, this key thing, that was it, inlays. So Richard Polt, believe it or not, he took uh, and blew up these pictures, I believe, that were for sale through Ames years ago, and he made a printable page. Now, a sheet of just, you know, crappy paper, it's not going to be what you want to put under your keys on there. Try and get some heavier paper, and if you're going to do it, you know, get the heavy paper like, uh, oh, I don't know, 25% cotton private stock or something. Eaton, E-A-T-O-N, makes, makes good paper for this. But you don't want to use just shitty paper, you know, you want to use good paper, so... Um, so I got some options, but I think I'm, I'm falling back on just cleaning these up and putting them on, because those, I can't see anything, but, um, but at least with this I'll be able to see stuff. And I don't want to break all these, because my thing sucks. Uh, it's a, I guess I can work on it and maybe get it back to life, but, all right, everybody, have a good day. I hope I showed you what I wanted to show you. Take care.